Hey, we're Rachel and Daniel from the photo and filmmaking channel Mango Street. We are stoked to work with Adobe to bring you this series where we take you from the planning and conceptualization of a photo shoot to the execution and post-production of it. Okay, so this will be the first of three videos and in this one we're gonna plan and conceptualize our shoot. Uh, we haven't talked much about it yet, so it'll be a pretty genuine look into what it's normally like for us to plan a shoot from start to finish. Let's get started. When planning a shoot, it's important to nail down the vibe and mood as well as the details that will help you convey and reinforce them. For this shoot, the only idea we've established so far is that we want to shoot in a neon noir style. Can we also establish the fact that I really don't like the name neon noir? So using that as a starting point, we're going to do a laundry list of things to put together all the details we need to pull this thing off. One, gather inspiration. Two, set a budget. Three, find locations. Four, find models. Five, create a mood board that outlines the details of the shoot. Six, book everything using our mood board. So the first thing we need to do is gather inspiration. We'll start where most research starts these days, rifling through the encyclopedias at the library. When that didn't yield Googles of results, we hit the internet. Let me, I'm just gonna start by like Googling Neon Noir and see what comes up. So like my initial thought was like Blade Runner like drive has kind yeah. of like this dark movie So I was going to say, I picture like a car at night and like an interior light. Daniel browsed movie stills from movies like Drive and Blade Runner because he loves Ryan Gosling. And lucky for us, those movies also have a killer neon noir vibe. Ooh, I love that. Rachel browsed Instagram because she loves Instagram. And lucky for us, it has some killer neon noir inspiration if you really dig for it as well. One of my like this. favorite accounts is Somewhere Magazine. When we found an image we liked, we saved it as a potential candidate for a mood board. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of like um, neon lights and that's mm -hmm. that's not really what I want for this. Like, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I don't think they have to be neon, despite the name. But like, I think colored, some colored light would be cool. Yes. So let's establish like the story behind the shoot. I like the ghost idea. So it'd be cool to kind of take some from this and then some from the Neon Noir, just kind of combine it. Yeah. So it's like Ghost Story, Neon Noir style. Ghost Story meets Neon Noir. That could be cool. Okay, so I think we've narrowed down our idea to being, like the concept of the story will be a ghost who's like haunting a house, stuck at home, and just wants to go out for the night. So I think it'll mostly take place in a house and then a little bit maybe like in a car. Next, we set a budget. Let's think about the costs. We have to hire, or we have to rent a space. We have to rent a car, and we have to pay someone to film for us. Mm -hmm. Adobe gave us some money to use for the shoot, so we set our budget at $1,000. Don't worry if you don't have a big budget for your shoot. This is your chance to get creative with what you have access to. Now's a good time to map out some locations. To do this in big cities in the US, our first stop is always Pure Space. It's like Airbnb, but it's specifically for photo shoots and filming, so there's less red tape. If you don't have access to Pure Space, Airbnb might still be a good option for you. Just don't forget to let the host know what your plans are. On Pure Space, we quickly found this space. Oh, that's really cool. Let's um, save it. In this space. We'll bookmark these. Since we decided we need to book a car as well, we'll look into that now. There's lots of options when it comes to renting cars, but we'll go with the website Vinti. They specialize in vintage cars. Okay, so this place is called Vinti. We've used them in the past, and like a dad with a trusty pair of New Balances, we like sticking with what works and looks very cool. For most of our shoots, we like to work with fashion models. Typically, we find them through other photographer friends or Instagram. Occasionally, we'll reach out to agencies to see if they have any new faces that need testing. This way, it's usually free or more affordable than shooting more established models. There are also a few ways you can directly reach out to models. You can use an app called Artstyle, which is actually pretty legit. You can brave the archives of Model Mayhem. You can risk your life on Craigslist. You can create a Tinder profile under the guise of wanting to find a new lover, but then at dinner you admit that you're just a photographer standing in front of a model, asking him or her to model for you. Or you can just make it a self-portrait shoot instead. For this shoot, however, we quickly decided that we love the idea of dressing our model up like a ghost. Since we won't need the most expressive range from a ghost, we'll just ask our friends Colin and Samir if one of them wants to model for us. But we're certain they could provide an expressive range if we needed it. I mean, look at these faces. Now we're going to put together our mood board using Adobe Photoshop. A mood board will detail our photo inspiration, theme, colors, models, wardrobe, and location. We'll start by adding in some of our favorite photos we've saved for inspiration. Mm -hmm. 
We'll then create a second document with added details. Not only will it serve as a guide for us, but we can share it with everyone else involved in the shoot in order to get them on the same page. We also like to develop a color palette for our shoot that we can keep in mind when selecting wardrobe, sets, props, and lighting. We'll use Adobe Color to extract a color palette from one of our inspiration photos. We can then save the color palette to our Adobe Cloud Library, and it will automatically be loaded up into Photoshop. Once we're done, we can save them as PDF files. With the mood board complete, we booked our favorite location, got our friend Colin on board as our ghost, and got our behind the scenes crew together. For the car, we ended up asking a friend instead of going through a site like Vinti because we had such a tight turnaround time and needed a little more flexibility. Okay, now that we have our concept locked down, we're just gonna go get some last minute supplies for our shoot. We're gonna get some fabric for our ghost, and then we're gonna get some colored light bulbs for some practical lights for the set. All right, let's go. Okay, so we got some light bulbs and the model's outfit, so now we're ready for a shoot. With everything set, it's time to shoot. Next time on the Photoshoot series. You know the universal sign for choking? Do that if you can't breathe.